Hey guys, what's happening? Thanks for tuning in, coming back, watching, all that stuff. I appreciate it. I hope your day is going really well. I am having a good day. I am sitting in the On One Photo Raw 2019, and I'm having fun, and I'm partly having fun because um, I was able to edit a photo like that, and you know, it got me thinking. You know, I spend all this time making these videos, showing you how to fix this or change that or replace this with that, and and doing a lot of sort of tips and tricks and you know, creative post processing things. Um, and, and I love to do that stuff, and I'm going to keep doing it. But sometimes, you know, you don't need to do a lot. You just need to do some very basic stuff. And usually when I only need to do very basic stuff, it's um, because I took the photo properly. Like I did the right things in the field and got the right exposure. So I was kind of playing with a photo here. Let me show you. Is this one. And I just uh, made a couple of minor tweaks. And honestly, I had what I consider a beautiful photo. And so I just thought I'd talk about that for a minute because sometimes simple really is best. So let me tell you what I did here. Um, I started in the crop tool and I just like the 16 by nine crop. So I went in and you know, in on one, you can quickly do that. I think that looks really good. I've got this um, lower thirds kind of a, what is it called? The, and uh, the rule of thirds, that little PowerPoint where the intersection is right there in that um, walkway thing when I'm <laughs> running out of words here. Um, so the first thing I did was crop. Uh, sometimes I'll actually do a crop at the very end, but in this case I cropped it up front. Uh, and then I start on the develop tab here and in tone and color, I just bumped up contrast. And you know, this is something I kind of do by feel. Um, I took highlights down a bit. Uh, that sky was a little bit too bright for me and I actually took shadows down a little bit and uh, lifted the midtones a tad. And as you can see already, I mean the photo's looking pretty good. There's the before and there's the after. So just moving the light around makes a huge impact because it was a little bit bright. But I say I got it right in field because there's no glaringly obvious mistakes made. Like the focus is fine. I think the composition is fine. And the light was pretty well balanced, fairly evenly distributed. So um, it's a little bit bright, but with some contrast changes and reducing highlights, I'm able to get that looking pretty much the way I want. Uh, in fact, I actually might raise that exposure a tiny bit, something like that. Uh, then I was down here and I just raised the temperature a tad and warmed it up a little bit, gave the tint a little bit of a kick, uh, a little bit of saturation and vibrance. And really, this is all seasoned to taste. There's not a recipe that says, here's what you do to make your photos look good. Um, just kind of go by feel. I want to pop some of the color in here. I especially like because it's kind of blue at the sky and some of those distant rooftops. I like these rooftops here being red and so giving a little more saturation and vibrance kind of pops that. Uh, and then the next thing I did was just, I go to the effects tab and just grab a add filter and I'm just taking the vignette filter and I'm just clicking on big softy and there you go. And honestly, like I'm done with the photo. I'm, I'm happy with that. I don't really see anything else that I would do to the photo. I think it looks great. I think the light looks nice. I think there's plenty of contrast. I think the colors are, are rich, but not overdone. You know, this is not a clown vomity kind of just, bleh, you know, oversaturated to my eye. Now to yours, it might be too saturated. Uh, but to me, that's like a really just subtle saturation, even though it's kind of big color, but I like my colors. Um, but like everything just kind of works. I shot at a really tight aperture, as you can see, based on the little starburst uh, that's coming out of both of these lamps and the ones down here. But that's really it. I mean, simple is easy uh, and straightforward and many times the best option. That's my before photo and that's my after photo. And if I wasn't sitting here yapping, that would have been, um, well, it was. It was about a minute and a half or two minutes of work. And as much as I love to just like spend time jacking around with a photo and creating something, many times it's nice just to just go in, do a quick edit and move on. And I have a, what I would consider a portfolio class image after like two minutes of work. So simple can often be exactly what you need. You don't have to go, you know, super creative or different or unique or whatever. You can just do some of the basic stuff. Contrast, manage the highlights and shadows, manage the colors a little bit, add a vignette, and you know what? You can get a good looking photo out of it. My opinion, of course, because I think the photo is good looking. I'm a little biased because I took the photo and I edited the photo, but you know, I think, um, Coming from there to there in a matter of you know a minute or two is uh, is pretty nice. So that was it. Really, just something really quick. I'm just kind of demonstrating some of the power of um, not just on one photo raw because the truth is you can make an edit like this in any program. But uh, I am using on one photo raw. I like it quite a bit. I'm getting a lot more comfortable with it. So I'll keep doing more videos around it. But really, I just wanted to talk about the fact that 
Sometimes simple is really the best way to go, and you don't have to do a whole lot of crazy stuff and use a lot of filters. I mean, I basically used the simple, uh, the tone and color filter over here in the develop tab. So, you know, a few sliders there, and then one, um, one filter here, which was the vignette filter, and that was it. Simple, quick, easy, and I think the result is beautiful. So that's really it for this video. I'll be back soon with more. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. I'd love to have some feedback from you about other things you'd like me to cover in On One. There's really a lot to talk about, and I'm still getting my arms around some of it, but I'm having a lot of fun. So I'll be back with more videos about On One as well as the other things I talk about. I appreciate you watching, my friends. Have a great day. Thanks a lot. Take care, and adios.